Hello, Craig Birch here after the knockout cup quarterfinal first leg. I have here the Kings Lynn boss, Dale Alec. Dale, 5 1 in the last leg at Leicester Lions this evening. 48 42, six points advantage for Lions going into the second leg on your own track. And uh, yeah, very finely poised all evening, wasn't it? It was a very close meeting. Yeah, I think the, uh, you know, the boys dug deep. Um, it's been a difficult day. You know, quarter past 10 this morning, Robert's flight was delayed uh, for seven hours, which meant. Uh, not only were we missing him, we then had to find a rider so that uh, we could fit, which can only up to be a uh, four point uh, average in the championship. So, it's been a difficult night, and to be fair, we'd have probably took that uh, at quarter past ten this morning. Yeah. So, um, you know, we've been pretty good on our home track, so it's uh, finally poised for the second leg. Of course, lots of lots of fans talking on Twitter about the minefield of legislation to get a to get a rider in, and, you know, fill the criteria at that short notice. What are your views on the on the rules relating to that? I mean, it's a it's an impossible situation to be put to begin with, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, the biggest thing is when, when you have riders missing. The first thing it's it's depriving the public, you know, because they're the guys that are paying to, to come and watch us. But it's uh, it's disappointing. There's nothing that anyone can do. You know, we looked at every possible option to get flights to, to Robert, and there wasn't one from from Riga, which is where he was. So, um, but you know, I'm not the one that makes the rules. We've just got to abide by them. So, as frustrating as it is, then uh, you know, other people need to look at that, not me. Of course, is the reality is that Robert could have made all the difference tonight, and maybe you know, turned it into a quite comfortable victory even, you know, with the sort of form that Robert's enjoyed this season. It could have made all the difference, couldn't it? Well, yeah, he got a maximum here a few weeks ago and uh, he tries only return one point. So, you know, if he'd have scored seven or eight points, well, you know, it doesn't take a genius to work out, we'd have won. So, um, but it's all to play for for the second leg and that's what we'll look for next. Yeah, yeah. Pl pleased with the application that the guys put in, so to keep it that close. I mean, it was really, I mean, that the, la the last seat turned it really, wouldn't it? I mean, it, you still have a chance of winning, certainly the first leg up to then. Yeah, you know, every meeting this season, and the lags have dug massively deep. You know, every time we've been hit with a with a disadvantage, we've come back fighting. So that's all you can ask. So over the moon with the dedication on a very difficult night, and um, you know, full bounce back. Little bit of a rest, and I think it's not nine days time, and then it's back on your track for the second leg and so on. And uh, still plenty of life in this tie, you believe? Oh yeah, very much so. I mean, uh, you know, we've had two home matches and, and won both by more than six points. So, you know, why can't we do it again? Yeah, if you can do that, then ultimately, you know, you're into the, you're into the last four. Absolutely, it's in our hands. Okay, know? excellent, fantastic. Thanks Dale, thank you very much for your time. See you again. Thank you.